so what you're telling me here is that you are just departing a man's tent. Now this man may be homeless, he could be here on assignment, but you don't really know. But what you're saying to me is that you feel for the last several weeks and months and almost a year that you had the right to follow this man and cut his beard off, little by little, trimming it, thinning it, doing things to him as if you're his personal groomer. And at no time did he ever authorize this. But again, here's what I'm not understanding is, last night was cold, so he put up a tarp as a tent to keep the wind out so he'd be warmer. But that didn't stop you from walking in his tent, taking out his jacket and obliterating it with chemicals. It also didn't stop you from walking in that man's tent while he was sound asleep, kneeling over him and cutting his beard off. So what I'm looking at you is wondering where the hell do you get off being a sexual assailant to a homeless man? What I'm also wondering is how do you live with yourself? Because I don't get how you live with yourself. And I don't get why your neighbors understand this. And I don't get why you think every time you fucking walk by that I give a shit who you are. Because in the world of men, we don't do this. But that officer from Indianapolis thinks he's clever. He wore his hair long, he put it up in a ponytail, and he just thought, I'll just fuck into this company and I'll be a part of him. But that's not what we do here. But your attitude is, I'm just going to pretend I didn't sexually assault someone. I'm going to pretend I didn't cut somebody's beard off in the night. I'm going to pretend that I didn't walk into somebody's tent who was trying to stay warmer in the night. When I got a home, I got a mom, I got food on my table, I got shelter because I'm such a fucking alcoholic loser. But let me tell you, that's not what we're talking about today. What we're talking about today, little girl, is you walking into someone's home and touching them inappropriately in the night. How fucking hard is this for you to grasp? You little faggot man thought you had the right to put your hands on a man every night cutting his beard off. Do you have any fucking idea what a pansy ass little podunk coward you are? Do you have any fucking idea how many of your women for that company are going to prison by far? Do you understand the rage that I'm coming into my tone of voice because I'm the officer on the duty watching all this shit you're pulling going, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Every time he loses beard, it's these three fucking idiots on your company time here. So don't you fucking talk to me like I don't understand what's going on here. Please don't act like I don't have a fucking memory here. I'm actually watching you, watching you come out of a man's pup tent. And you got hair in your hands, you got scissors in your hands, and you just re obliterate that man's jacket for the winter. So what the fuck do you think you're doing here? 